specific change, but it's been such an amazing roller coaster. And here's what I've learned. I've been doing sacred circles for almost a year now. We will have our one year anniversary of creating events in September with the full moon. And what I've noticed is that every time I hold circle, amazing things begin to happen. There are so many shifts that take place and it doesn't only happen with me in my life. It happens with the women that attend the circles, which is again a testimony to how important it is for us to hold space for one another and gather and circle. The power of a collective prayer when we are all intending to come with our best energy and create magic. And let me tell you that I guess we must have created some pretty explosive magic at the Let There Be Lose first annual red tent because, whoa, (laughs) what I am experiencing is crazy. I mean, it's insane. I'm really excited for it, but I also have to say that I am frightened for it. Very, very scared. It's scary when you're having to step out in faith. And it's something that I've practiced doing for a really long time, but it doesn't matter how much I've practiced it. It just gets a little scarier and a little scarier each time. And that's because the faith that I have to step into needs to stretch. You know, it was like, I have to have a little faith in this before. And then now it's bigger and bigger and bigger. And here we are. I have to have a lot of faith for what's about to take place and the transition in my life. I want to talk to you a little bit about the red tent. I mean, really, the pictures speak for itself if you're following us on Let There Be Lose. And if you're following us on my personal account, then you've been watching the stories, you've been watching the pictures, and it was nothing short of magic. I kept having to remind myself at the event that this all is taking place or took place because of a thought that I had in my head. And I know that that's how everything happens, is all a thought in your head, but to create something yourself where you have full responsibility over production, over execution, over everything, it is incredible to see your ideas manifest. And it is even much more incredible to see the energy that comes to help you manifest your vision. With that, I'm speaking about Carissa, who was such an important part of executing this project, believed completely in my vision and took my vision to the next level. And then, of course, the healers that participated that also gave their heart and soul into this night and took the event to the next level. And I just want to talk about that a little bit because... This event was a true testament of how important it is to surround yourself with people that are going to support and uplift you. It is so, so important because had I been surrounding myself with people that didn't want to see me succeed and didn't want to see this event happen, it would have been all bad all day. But because I was surrounded with nothing but love and support from women in our community, this event was magic. And I'm not just speaking about the healers and Chris, I'm also speaking about the women that attended, right? Because it was collectively our event. It wasn't just mine. It was also the women that invested into making this event a reality, which was so powerful. And I just want to remind everyone of that, of how important it is to make shifts in your life and to not surround yourself around people that can't see your vision or don't agree with your vision. And sometimes I feel like it is so hard to make those changes. In some cases, we are so accustomed to surrounding ourselves with naysayers and negative people. And that is because our own personal thoughts are reflecting who we are surrounding ourselves with. That's really key right 
there. That is so key because sometimes when we surround ourselves with negative people or people that hurt us, we tend to put blame on the person that is hurting us. And what we don't understand is that everything that we think about is projected outside of us. So what is happening is that our beliefs about ourselves is being projected. And I feel like I'm really coming into this place where I try to be as positive to myself as possible and not as abusive as I used to be. And I'm watching the outside world reflect now what I feel about myself. This isn't to say that I consistently feel this way because I have to admit that with this change that I'm experiencing right now, that a part of me knew could happen, but there was a bigger part of me that thought it wouldn't happen. I am being tested where I can quickly fall into a space where I could be abusive to myself and put myself down for what is happening. But I immediately try to rectify that with my thoughts. I'm constantly monitoring my thoughts. We are not our thoughts. And sometimes we believe we are our thoughts. And that is when you will see them reflect themselves to you. So there's definitely been a level of expansion that I have been experiencing and it's reflecting in my work. We are ready to go full throttle on Let There Be Lose. And in part, we're ready because right now there is no plan B for me. What that means is that I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I don't even know why I'm beating around the bush. I think I'm just weird about talking about this because I normally do not talk about my career. I like to sort of keep that a little bit private. Um, And by my career, I'm talking about the film industry. But I feel like I need to be totally transparent so that you all can know what it is that I'm going through and how I'm going to handle this. So my contract for the work that I do right now in the film industry is not going to be renewed. It was extended for another month, which means it's extended until August, but it will not be renewed. And that is so scary. I thought that it was going to be renewed. When you have a contract, a part of you knows this could potentially not be renewed. Because it wasn't discussed immediately, I thought, oh, it must be getting renewed because we haven't had the conversation. So no, my contract is just being extended for another month. Um, And I've had a really long contract as a consultant with this company. There's just not work right now. That's just the way it is. There's no work. I have to tell you this funny story that goes along with all of this. Carissa and I had decided that the week after the red tent, we were going to take a break and just relax for a minute. You know, I wasn't going to record an episode, which I didn't, but we weren't going to talk about the red tent. And it was impossible. It was so impossible. We were talking... Maybe even more than what we had been talking when we were planning this event. So we were so fired up with the energy that was created during this red tent. We were like, let's do this, this. We had a million and one ideas. So we decided to meet and look at the future plans for Let There Be Lose. What is going to happen? Because there was so much of a demand for this event already after selling out, number one. Number two, I think once women saw the pictures and saw the value of what they are receiving, everyone had FOMO. (laughs) I think I've heard the word FOMO within the last couple of weeks more than I've ever heard that saying in my entire life. Like all I keep hearing was I'm having FOMO and it's amazing because I'm not just hearing it from women, I'm also hearing it from men. So this tells us a few things that there's definitely a need for more events like this and I'm so happy to be able to facilitate and open up these spaces. I feel like it is a calling of mine. I feel like opening up the space on the podcast is a calling of mine. I feel like writing and telling stories and talking about how I moved through really challenging traumas has helped me. I just feel like talking about healing is the biz. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to talk about this more and more. And I feel more assertive and loud and proud about doing this for my community in specific. It doesn't mean that other communities don't need healing. They do. It just means that there's a big lack in our community specifically. And I want to be able to open that space. A beautiful butterfly just came up to my window and she's back. (laughs) She's just staring at me. (laughs) That's amazing. 
Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Well, I just feel, I feel in my power, you know, and I was so excited for all of the work that Carissa put into the red tent. And I really felt like I found a solid teammate that believed in my vision and really wanted to contribute to my vision. And I think that that is really hard to find, you know? So it was really important for me to remove Carissa from being an intern. And we made her an operations manager, which I'm so excited for. And that just means that she oversees all of the logistics in everything that we're doing. She's looking at the supply chain in all the areas from creating events. She's looking at all of the pieces and she's helping me connect the dots as we do it. And she oversees it and she is amazing at it. So I am so excited that there's officially a person on the team. And then of course, if you follow us on Let There Be Lose, then you know that we are seeking an intern to replace the internship position that she had. So we are definitely growing. So if you haven't applied to that, I think you still have a couple of hours to apply for that. The day after we made our plans for the brand and what was going to take place for the entire, you know, the rest of the year for the next 12 months, I solidified registration of Let There Be Lose. So it's a full functioning business now, bank account, the whole nine. And the next day I'm told that my contract will not be renewed past August, which is really hard to hear because the majority of my income comes from that job. And I realize that I have manifested this not only in asking the universe to turn Let There Be Lose into a full functioning business, but also in practicing affirmations where I tell myself that I do not depend on money that comes from a check. I do not depend on money outside of myself. I am the creator of source. I am the creator of the money that manifests. And I've been practicing that and here it is, it's manifested. It's something that I've asked for. And I definitely do want that freedom of being able to create and decide how I want to spend my days and my hours constantly and to be able to grow as much as I want to grow and not be limited by what someone else says, what position someone else says I can be at and what level of pay I can be at. So here we are breaking free from all of that. And I have to say, it is so scary. It is scary. But there's a big part of me that is very calm, sitting cross-legged on a field, on a meadow, and there's some nice wind that's caressing my skin and my hair. I'm just really calm. And I know that I have to trust this process. And then there is another side of me that's yelling at the Linda that is cross-legged, calm, and relaxed and telling her, get the fuck up. You need to start freaking out right now. What are we going to do? So it's this crazy... um, It's this crazy battle that I'm dealing with. Right now, the calm Linda is kind of winning, but I have to admit, at times, the crazy Linda creeps in, you know, and I kind of just sulk and freeze where I just want to disappear, and I'm scared of the pressure, and I'm scared of the failure. So I just want to share that with you all because I want to be as transparent as possible. I want you to know what is going on and how I'm going to get through this so that we can journey through this together. And if anyone out there knows what I'm going through, um, I really appreciate you holding space for me. I'm holding space for you. And that is why I'm sharing this so that we can see how this is all going to transform in the end and how key this moment is going to be because I know there is no doubt in me that it is going to be key. We're going to take a short break, and when we get back, we're going to hear some testimonies from the ladies that attended the Red Tent, and we're going to talk a little bit about the plans that we have for Let There Be Lose. I'm so excited to announce what is coming in the horizon. This is also a heads up for everyone that's listening to get prepared. I don't want to hear anybody telling me about no FOMO. I don't want to hear anybody telling me about how they didn't know, how they're just seeing this. I don't want to hear it. 
It's so easy for tensions to run high as I face changes in my life. Social media makes it easy to get caught up in what everyone else is doing. My favorite product that is helping me stay grounded right now is my Snooze It. It's an intentional phone pocket. Sometimes when I intend to put my phone away, I end up reaching for it anyway. Placing it in my Snooze It pocket reminds me to stay present. Head over to snoozeit.com for more information. That's S N O O Z E T.com or check them out on Instagram at Snooze It Life. So excited for what is happening. Let me just give you the lowdown. I wasn't going to talk about this today, but I feel like since we're on the topic, let's just get into it. We are preparing a Let There Be Lose retreat, so be on the lookout for that. Right now, it's looking like it's going to be a two-night retreat in Joshua Tree. Just like this one, there is going to be limited spaces available, and we are going to have a payment plan available for that as well. We are also going to start traveling with the red tent. At this red tent, we had so many breakthroughs. There were so many exercises that it was one right after the other that was setting up the next exercise. And I really want for women to be able to experience this. If you can't travel, if you can't make it out to California, we are going out to our top cities and we're going to bring this experience to you. So in this, I kept thinking, you know, our very last experience in the red tent, we had a lot of breakthroughs and it tied everything so nicely together. And that was the amazing breath work that Ana Lilia did. And as we began to research on all of the places where we would travel with the red tent, as we began to research Joshua Tree, I realized that finding breath work in each of these cities was something that was not going to be easy. On top of that, finding teachers, finding women of color that teach breath work was not going to be easy. I had such an incredible experience and I didn't even get to go all the way deep into it because I still had to sort of be on my game and be prepared for the next part of the event that was to take place. It was still an event that I was putting together. So I had a powerful experience and I didn't even go all the way into breath work. All of the women that were there, I don't think anyone can deny how powerful the transformation was. As the days went by, I kept feeling a strong pull to learn more about breath work. And I thought to myself, I want to be able to offer this. And that's okay that I want to be able to offer this. I want to be able to provide this experience when I travel, when I have retreats. And I didn't think about it very much. I just took the step, made the investment, and pulled the trigger. Because that is what my intention has been for this entire year. To turn Let There Be Lose into a transformative experience, whether it's audio or in person. And to learn different healing modalities so that I can overall create an experience that is my own and that I can share with the world an experience that I wish I had when I was healing as I am healing from all the traumas and the patterns that we experience in this thing we call life. So I didn't even think about it. I went to go get trained. I found an amazing breathwork teacher that trains, and it just so happened that the only training this man is giving in this year was the following week. So I took that as a sign and I am so happy that I got trained to do this. I cannot wait to share the, I don't know if I want to call it curriculum, I don't know what I want to call it, but I cannot wait to share what I am creating with Breathwork and how this is all going to tie into the Moon Cycle series. We are essentially going to do Breathwork through the phases, through the four phases, which I think is so powerful and there's going to be some deep digging. I got a full vision of everything I wanted to do with breathwork and how this would tie back to Let There Be Lose and the foundation of Let There Be Lose, which is the Moon Cycle series. And here's the thing. I cannot tell you to be about it if I'm not about it. So I hope that if you're listening, this really encourages you 
to take action in an area that you feel like taking action. There's a very big difference from saying, I want to do this, I want to create this, but saying it is completely different from actually making the step and moving forward. And let me tell you, I was full with so much fear as the days were leading up to taking this class. Even the morning of waking up, I had so much resistance in walking into class. I felt insecure. That whole, who do you think you are? Learning this, you aren't nobody to learn this. Who are you to teach this? All of those self-limiting beliefs were flooding back. But, you know, I didn't let that stop me. I walked through that process. I walked through that fear. I told that voice to shut up. And I was like, I'm going to do this. We're going to do this. And as soon as I went into class, I started having all of these really powerful experiences. We spent, I don't know, about... 16 hours breathing, 18 hours maybe breathing and doing constant exercises. I had so many breakthroughs and visions of how I was going to structure my breathwork classes. So we're going to be implementing breathwork into something that I'm going to be offering. Not only will I be offering breathwork on one-on-one, but we will be having classes that will be taking place on a monthly basis. I can't wait to open up this space space with you. Speaking of what takes place on a monthly basis, don't forget that right now we have just a few spots left for long distance healing, for pranic healing with me. So if you're interested in getting an energy clearing, if you need a complete limpia, if you need some cords removed, if you need to just center yourself, then head over to letthereBelose.com so that you can make your karmic investments in the August healings that are going to take place place. We do have a few more plans for Let There Be Lose, but those are not ready to be mentioned yet. As we move closer, I will be sure to share what else is culminating and what else is going to be taking place with faith and love. I know that everything is going to work out. There's nothing more powerful than that. I leave you with the testimonies of some of our Red Tent attendees. The Let There Be Loose Red Tent experience was a space of intimacy, connection, and vibrational power. Intimacy in the sacredness of the space and the thought put into every element. Connection between the spiritual sisters that were met and connected with at a deeper level. And connection with the higher self, with the powerful self, with the divine self. Finally, vibrational power through the breath work through the smudging, vibrational power that was recognized within oneself. Through this experience, I was able to come forward with a truth that I hadn't been willing to recognize, willing to fully surrender to. And because of the experience, I know I am a healer. Salisa Loesa. I had no expectations coming into this event. I just remember how connected I felt to the first red tent circle at We All Grow and how connected I felt to my roots and to all the women there. I just knew that connection wasn't temporary. So when I learned of Linda's first annual red tent event, I came in with zero expectations But I knew there was going to be so much transformation with me, all of the women there. And I'm so grateful for all of the healers that held space for us and allowed us to heal those parts of us that maybe we we didn't even know were there. You know, I came out of there feeling so transformed and so encouraged and supported to take that next step in my life. You know, because so many memories came up that evening that I honestly didn't even remember were there. And a huge part of me feels like that is part of why I haven't been able to jump into something that I've known that I've had to do for such a long time. So I am so grateful. I am transformed. And Linda, I encourage you to keep doing what you are doing because you are amazing and you're holding so much space for so many generations to come. And I am so grateful and I love you. My experience at the Red Tent was truly magical. I am filled with so much love and gratitude for the space that was created. 
Thank you so much for opening your heart and allowing all these women to come together. Anna Lilia's playlist truly spoke to my soul, provided so much healing, and gave me the words that I guess I've been searching for. My spiritual journey has been difficult. It's been difficult to embrace who I am, and it's been difficult to fully express myself. But that night, I felt like I could be myself, that I could be who I am. I felt free. I am free. Angelica Ocampo. I am so grateful to have been part of the very first Let There Be Loose sacred red tent. It was truly a sacred experience. Not only did I get to share light and love with my sisters under a new moon but every exercise was so intentional that it either revealed something that i had to work on or showed me where i had grown in these last few years i really want to say thank you to luz carissa the entire team the sponsors and the healers it was definitely an unforgettable night and i'll always remember it I am evolving. Cindy Diaz. Hi, beautiful Warriors sisters. My experience at the Sacred Red Tent event was so powerful, it's really indescribable. From the beginning to the end of the event, everything overflowed with detail and intention setting. Each individual healing exercise captivated its essence to perfection. I went to the event with zero expectations, just with an open mind and heart. I went to the event ready to receive guidance, but most important, healing. I learned so, so much at the event. I really learned how to connect my mind, body, and soul. So I learned the importance of sharing our light with one another and how all of us are the same on the inside. I learned that to honestly heal traumas, you must go inward and it won't be pretty and it won't feel good. It's actually very emotional. We laughed a lot, we cried, and we collectively healed and supported each other. We empowered one another in such a magical, powerful way that I will never forget it. Our experience was maximized to perfection in every single way. You simply cannot choose one part of the event as your favorite because because you're gonna love it all. The breath work for me was like my biggest breakthrough. I felt really relaxed to the point where I was able to feel the energy in my body. Like I felt it in my hands. It, it was mind blowing. Um, I felt a connection with the entire night with my with my angels, with, with my guides, with my ancestors. I felt a connection with all the trauma and baggage that I've been carrying. I literally was able to release that energy that no longer serves me. And I was able to reconnect with the essence of who I really am. It was really, the event was short of a miracle. It was honestly the best money I've spent on myself. And I would... Definitely, definitely recommend this to all my friends. Um, I left the, the event feeling brand new, recharged, and full of endless abundance. I actually felt loved. I left the event feeling gratitude and love for myself. That's a feeling that I hadn't felt in a long time. Um, thank you is simply an understatement. I am forever grateful for this opportunity and for this safe space that was created for 50 powerful women that came together. Thank you, Maite. Make sure you are following us on Instagram at Let There Be Lose. Make sure that you head over to iTunes and please give us a review. We are also doing a giveaway and the winner is going to be announced on Thursday. So if you haven't entered the giveaway, make sure you check out our Instagram account and take a look at that giveaway. I feel like there's so many things, all the things I keep forgetting to mention. May the light within grow stronger. Return to the one.